right? The banks is telling us that's what we need to pay attention to. What's going on with the banking system, right? The banks, we're looking at JP Morgan, the biggest bank in America. Look what they said. Look, we're going to just take $10, million, $10 billion, billion with a B. We're going to take $10 billion and sit it to the side. That's for loans and stuff that we know we ain't never going to get back. You feel me? So you like, wait, money we ain't getting back. Yeah, it's $10 billion. We ain't getting it back. We know people can't pay their loans. We know this ain't happening. We ain't getting that back, so we ain't tripping, right? So then what happened was Wells Fargo said, you know what, y'all, right? Wells Fargo put $4.9 billion to the side because they were like, you know what? We ain't going to get that back neither. And then Citigroup said, you know what? We're going to put another $4.8 billion to the side. We don't get that back. So you got the three largest banks. So listen, so what that tell us? If the big banks saying we're not going to get that back, right? And then here go the, here go the big dog. So now when you go into the banking industry, you know you got the industry and then you got certain sectors within the industry, right? You got investment banks. The biggest investment bank is Goldman Sachs. The next biggest investment bank is Morgan Stanley, right? So you got the two biggest investment banks. Yes, fintech versus traditional banks, 100%. In case y'all don't know what fintech is, that's your, your cash apps, who you just did, who's owned by PayPal. Um, and then you got your Square, Right, those those are fintech businesses, right? Financial tech businesses, right? So I just give y'all the game, so now you know what financial tech is, right? Fintech, good shit. PayPal went through the roof too, right? So check it out, check it out. Goldman Sachs said we gonna take nine hundred and thirty-seven million that we gonna put to the side for money that we can't get back. Now here's the thing about Goldman Sachs, they don't even deal with regular people. They deal with businesses and stuff. So first of all, they dealing with a whole new kind of, they dealing with different business. So Goldman Sachs do a lot of underwriting. So what underwriting is, there's some game for y'all. So what underwriting is, is when the business goes public, right? They got to first go to an underwriter. They say, you got to go to Goldman Sachs or Morgan Stanley or SoftBank, somebody like that. And they're going to evaluate your business, give you, tell you how much your business is worth, and then you put it on the market. That's an underwriter. They make a lot of money doing that. And so they was like, okay, so now they putting money to the side. So what does that tell us? Right? So that tell us this. Now, if the banking industry is putting money to the side, the banking industry is not giving away debt in the form of bonds, right? If they doing that, then that ought to tell us that we, we in trouble. We in a little trouble. So even though the stock market is running, the stock market isn't a representation of what's really going on. Feel me? It's inflated because the Fed keep putting money in there. You feel me? Now, here's what happens. Another thing that's going on with the banks are selling us. So we think about Goldman Sachs and Morgan Stanley doing this. So now you understand that big businesses can't pay rent. Think about this. Retail industry is down. Remember I told you, real estate was down about third. REITs was down 24%. So REITs are the commercial real estate, right? So if the REITs was down and then more Goldman Sachs are dealing with REITs to get money, people like that, if they down, then what did that tell us? That means big people can't pay rent either, right? So if all these big businesses can't pay rent, why is the stock market running up? We need to take a step.